So, when it was first announced, a third Wolverine movie wasn't really something X-Men fans were really hoping for, especially since the other two Wolverine movies ranged from okay to terrible. But after the trailer came out, everyone seemed to change their minds about this, and Logan easily became one of the most anticipated movies of 2017 for a lot of people, including me. So now that Logan has finally arrived, it's time to talk about it. I would find a way. Logan, you still have time. Alright, before we begin, after I give this movie my rating out of 10, I'm gonna talk about spoilers. Don't worry though, there'll be plenty of warnings, so if you haven't seen Logan, nothing will be spoiled for you. Okay, so as I said, Logan is one of my most anticipated movies of 2017, and the reviews for this movie made me even more hyped for this. And even though I tried my best to lower my expectations, I still went into Logan hoping for something amazing. And did it live up to my amazingly high expectations? Absolutely. Bogan, wait, Logan is by far one of my favourite comic book movies of all time. First off, Hugh Jackman gives what is somehow his best performance as Logan. He's been great in all the other movies no matter what, but in this, he adds another layer of emotion and vulnerability that I've never actually seen in his character before. I know it's probably too early to say, but the Oscars should honestly nominate him for Best Actor, but they obviously weren't, so maybe the Golden Globes will nominate him. Patrick Stewart was also just as great as Professor X. He's always been great in the other movies, but seeing him in such a broken and vulnerable state is just so sad, and during a lot of this film, you really feel for him. Now let's talk about the new addition Laura, aka X-23. She honestly blew me away. Daphne King gives such an amazing performance, especially for a child actor. Her character here is honestly a complete badass, and it is shocking how well they pulled this off. The supporting cast were also great in this. Stephen Merchant did a perfect job as Caliban, Boyd Holbrook was really good as Donald Pierce, and Richard E. Grant was pretty great as Dr. Xander Rice, even though he wasn't in this film for very long. The characters in this movie are also really broken down. Logan and Professor X especially, even if you haven't seen any other X-Men film, you can tell they've been through some stuff together, and have done some things they aren't very proud of. And on that note, this movie is just really emotional and kind of depressing, even though there are a few moments of levity that break it up, for the most part, this movie is really dark. Another thing to mention, the action in this movie is just insanely brutal and violent. Going into this, I heard a lot about how it's super bloody and violent, but I kind of just shook it off, thinking it can't be too bad, this is a superhero movie after all. But when I watched the movie, it kind of shocked me how violent it was. There's lots of blood, limbs flying off, and it's incredibly brutal. It isn't as bad as, say, Hacksaw Ridge, but I would say it's more violent than something like Deadpool. Anyway, the action scenes in this are amazing. They're well-directed, unconventional, and it's just so satisfying to see Wolverine's claws cut people to pieces. The directing by James Mangold is just fantastic. I'm glad the studio actually let him make the movie he wanted to make and didn't interfere with his vision like they did with the Wolverine. Anyway, the effects are phenomenal, the pacing is great, I love the soundtrack, it sounds a lot like a western in a lot of parts, and the film takes a lot of unexpected turns that end up paying off. As for the negatives, however, there really isn't that much to complain about. I don't think the character of Xander Rice was anything special in this. He didn't have that much character development, but you still understood him, and he could have been a lot worse. There was also some CGI blood, which I'm not a very big fan of. That said, it was very briefly shown, and doesn't look too awful. Overall, Logan is just an incredible movie. It's badass, emotional, and a great send-off to Hugh Jackman as his character. So in the end, I'm giving Logan a 9.7 out of 10. Alright, now for spoilers. If you haven't seen Logan yet, click off right now. Alright, let's get right into this. First off, the timeline. To me at least, I can sort of see this taking place in the alternate Days of Future Past timeline, but it doesn't fit in perfectly, but neither do any of the other X-Men movies, so it doesn't matter too much. A clone of Wolverine appears in this, which was very unexpected. When he first appeared, it did kind of seem cheesy, but as the film went on and after thinking about it for a bit, it did make more sense and it worked for this film. On that note, there's the death of Professor X. I had a feeling he would die in this, but the fact that he died thinking Logan was the one who killed him was heartbreaking. 
There's also the death of Logan, which I didn't actually expect or think they could pull off, but it was actually handled perfectly. It was probably the most emotional scene in the entire movie, and when they zoomed in on his grave and nothing was moving, it confirmed to me that this was it, and Logan was actually dead. And it was basically a Hugh Jackman middle finger to the ending of BVS. That said, Hugh Jackman will probably come back in Deadpool 2, as that'll take place probably around 10 years before Logan, and hopefully he'll wear his comic book costume. There have also been theories about who the kids were contacting in Canada, and the most interesting theory is that they could have been contacting Alpha Flight. In case you don't know, Alpha Flight is basically the X-Men of Canada, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of Alpha Flight. I own this super rare and valuable comic of Alpha Flight back from October 1984, and I take really good care of it. Nah, just kidding, I got this thing for like 20 cents. That said, seeing X-23 join the Alpha Flight in a possible sequel sounds pretty badass. I should also probably talk about the Deadpool 2 teaser that played before the film for most people. It didn't actually play where I saw the film, I'm not sure why, but luckily Fox released it online, and I have to say, it was really funny, and the film will probably be great. Anyway, that's what I thought about Logan. Thanks for watching, remember to like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Leave a comment and subscribe for more videos like this one.